Uh, every single week as we wrap up our shows, we give you a chance to bring the heat, right? We're looking for your hot takes. And uh, basically, we want to open up the floor for you to fire up your flamethrower. Presented by the DQs of Northwest Edmonton and Sherwood Park. These are all real emails to talk at ryanjesperson.com, including this one from Rob, uh, Earmuffs Kids. Rob's all fired up. He says, deceptive fuckers. He says, I received an invitation to participate in a poll that was being conducted by the Federal Conservative Party about whether or not somebody wants Pierre Polyev to be the next Prime Minister. So I took the poll. I was like, great. I think it's important that a poll, as it is euphemistically being called, offered by the party association itself, should hear from people who do not want Pierre Polyev to be the next Prime Minister. So I had the ability to answer yes or no. So I answered no, and then I gave him my name, my phone number, and my email address. Oh, Rob. He says, and then after I clicked submit, I was taken to a page that thanked me for having signed a petition to show my support for Pierre Polyev to become the next Prime Minister. What in the actual, Rob says in all caps. Now, typically, says Rob, I'm not this gullible, but if conservative.ca themselves is referring to this as a poll and not as a petition, don't you think there should be a bit more transparency Transparency, Anyway, says Rob as he signs off. What about this one from Stephen? After our conversation yesterday, talking about fighting in hockey, talking about why I think that it's necessary and why others necessarily don't agree. Well, Stephen writes in and says, if hockey players don't get hit hard, if they're not going to fight anymore, then why the hell are we paying them millions of dollars? If there's no real threat to their brains, they should be going to school where their careers can start. <laughs> what? He says, going to the these games is not even worth it anymore cost wise don't disagree steven says sorry not sorry on these issues it's just rich kids playing the sport now anyway that from steven and we also heard from robin who says fighting in hockey is like the spicy jalapeno in a nacho platter not everybody loves it but it definitely adds a kick picture this a player takes a cheap shot at your team's star. Without the possibility of a good old brawl, where's the justice? Enter the Enforcer, hockey's own version of Batman, ready to drop the gloves and restore order. Nothing revs up a crowd like two players throwing punches while trying to stay on their skates. It's like a dance-off, but with more dental appointments after. Nice, Robin. Says fights can turn the tide of a game. That's true. Rally the team and fans alike make it more than just a sport. It's an adrenaline-packed spectacle. Sure, there there are necessary debates like the one on Real Talk about safety and sportsmanship, but sometimes you just need a little chaos to spice things up. That from Robin. And what about this one from Dean? We'll call him Deaner. He says, slow drivers in the passing lane is what I'd like to shine the spotlight on, Jespo. Says, thanks for the opportunity. Thanks to the DQs. Uh, they're like that one person, these slow drivers in the left lane at a buffet who stands in front of the shrimp and hums and haws and just won't move. Seriously, if you're going to drive like a slow Sloth on vacation. Do us all a favor and stay in the right lane, which is for you. The left lane is for passing, not for you to ponder life's mysteries, okay? If you see a line of cars behind you longer than a Black Friday checkout line, it's a sign. Move over. Think of it as doing your part to keep the road rage levels down and the flow of traffic smooth. So for the love of all things fast and furious, says Diener, slide to the right. Slide to the right and let the rest of us get to our destinations before before we age a decade. That from Diener, who sent us an email to talk at ryanjesperson.com. The Flamethrower is presented Fridays right here on Real Talk by our friends at the DQs in Palisades, Nemeo, Newcastle, Westmount, and Baseline Road. Make sure that you cap off your picnic this summer with their brand new Picnic Peach Cobbler Blizzard Treat with world-famous DQ soft serve, peach topping, buttery cobbler pieces blended to absolute blizzard treat perfection. Make it a great weekend, friends. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Real Talk. Thanks for telling your friends and sharing our episodes. Thanks for the emails to talk at ryanjesperson.com. We'll see you again on Monday. Uh -huh.